Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to show you how to land on the new bus 850 XWB Advanced version. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We are currently cruising 7,000 feet on a speed of 245 knots. We are planning to land on ICAO Oscar Mike Delta Bravo, which is the International Civil Aviation Organization code for Dubai International Airport, as you can see displayed on our navigational display. We're going to be turning to the left soon enough. This video is aimed at showing you how to land the Airbus A350 in poor visibility. The visibility of the runway is only achieved under 1,000 feet. So presently we are trapped in rather dismal weather conditions. There's a lot of fog, heavy clouds, uh, some wind in addition to a lot of rain. Presently, Moreover, we are going to begin our gradual descent to 3,000 feet and will hopefully be descending at a very gradual rate of descent of uh, negative 800 feet. We are going to be using our autopilot. Autopilot 1 is currently engaged alongside our auto throttle, so we'll be decreasing the altitude now. Um, the autopilot using the knob, altitude knob. We are going to be landing on apron 30 right, where the final true heading for apron 30 right for aerodrome Oscar Mike Delta Bravo is 302 degrees. We are going to be engaging in a gradual left turn soon enough. We have already begun our gradual descent, thus we shall be decreasing our airspeed momentarily to below 200 knots. For standardized procedures for Airbus or Boeing aircrafts, any aircraft for that matter, if you are below an altitude of 10,000 feet, you must be simultaneously be below the speed of 250 knots. It is very important, as this is the only way ATC or air traffic control can easily control you, and this is to ensure that you are at a proper speed upon arrival upon your approach. Thus, once below 10,000 feet, it is imperative that you are, the aircraft is at a speed that is below 250 knots, as to not overshoot the runway. And if you are at 3,000 feet, it's always preferable to be at a speed of 200 knots or below. And if you are at 1,000 feet, you should be preferably closely traveling close to your final approach speed. And account current scenario based on our calculations, based on the weight of the aircraft, the aircraft's computer recommend a speed of 139 for our final approach speed, so that'll be the speed we'll land with. Now we are going to continue our actual turn to the left, so that we begin to align with Oscar Mike Delta Bravo, runway 30 right, final true heading 302 degrees, final approach speed shall be 139. Presently it's not very useful to look outside the cockpit due to the fact that we are not going to be able to see anything for an extended period of time. Let's keep in mind that such scenarios are a very effective way of getting yourself familiarized with and uh, well acquainted with using the instrumentation on the airplane, uh, depending primarily on the primary flight display and the navigational display. So we're going to attempt to perform a successful approach and landing in conjunction. Uh, this shall help us garner more experience in using the instrumentation on instrumentation on board to successfully align localize the aircraft with the our runway. Thus for the purpose of this tutorial we shall be primarily depending on looking at our instrumentation instead of looking outside. Uh, you can see the flight display, the primary flight display which is situated on the left hand side and our navigational display which is situated on the right hand side just next to the primary flight display, the PFD. We have our anti-ice currently on, but the gas indicator that there has been no ice formation detected. So I'm just going to keep the anti-ice on auto mode. Where if there is any ice detected, the computers will detect that and shall appropriately be using the anti-ice as needed. Now we are still gradually turning, and, uh, but uh, completed our turn, just gradually turning, and we are gradually using our airspeed moreover. The out this altitude, our airspeed is optimal, and we have ample time to reach our final approach speed once we are on final. And that is what we are aiming for, to reach an optimal speed that we don't overshoot the runway, because if we try to land 
and you're too fast, you'll have trouble shedding your speed. Consequently, you'll have to orbit to the left or to the right to lose that airspeed and reattempt the landing. We don't want to do that, we just want to have a successful approach on the first try and be stabilized before 500 feet without needing to orbit to the left or to the right to fly a circle to lose the airspeed. Thus, it is always important to know that beforehand, you must uh, calculate your final approach speed and be mindful to remain below 250 knots when you so you are at 10,000 feet or below to be to ensure you are stabilized once above 500 feet and it's preferred that you are at your final approach speed at 1,500 feet or below that is 139 in our case moreover in this scenario we are going to be performing a visual approach the runway 30 right is equipped with cat 2 and cat 3 for the ILS for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to perform a visual approach instead to demonstrate how to use the compass on the navigational display to properly navigate to our designated runway. Thus, if we can see outside, but we want to align the airplane with the runway, runway 30 right, yet visibility cannot be established when we are unable to see outside. What do we do to find our runway and align the airplane? In such scenario, we use our instrumentation in our navigational display. On the navigational display, you see the magenta marker for Aerodrome Oscar Mike Delta Bravo runway 30 right, and we have to align it with heading 302, which is the final true heading for the runway. And once we are successfully done on the navigational display, we become fully aware that we are about to align about uh, almost localized with the runway that we are trying to land on. So shortly we are going to be using our flaps, increasing our flaps to flap one, and we'll be dropping our landing gear and arming our automatic brakes and uh, turning on the landing lights momentarily. Presently I'm just going to continue descending, keeping the descent rate at negative nine, between negative 800 and 1,200 feet per minute. We're still not aligned with the magenta marker, which does not connect with that thing. 302, meaning alignment has still not been achieved. But as you can see, the magenta marker is slowly moving and aligning. Put on the speed brakes and use the flaps. One, and we're going to turn on our landing lights and our windshield wipers. But as you can hear, the rain droplets against the windshield. So, spoilers are our flaps.
and uh, applying the golden lamps. Landing here is now unlocked, and uh, we have successfully engaged the automatic brakes on the setting. The autopilot has been also disengaged. We are currently out of control of an aircraft in order to get our visual approach. However, we still are unable to see anything outside yet. We are not less sign to use the side sticks begin to localize on my runway, even though I can see the runway from my cockpit due to the fog and poor visibility. However, I'll use the primary flight display and navigational display to successfully try and navigate them. Connect to having research with the with the magenta marker for Oscar my Delta Bravo. So I'll apply very gentle inputs and uh, momentarily zoom out so you have a better view of the side stick. I currently just need to have a good view of the primary flight display and navigational display in order to input the proper input to the side stick. I have to be very gentle and uh, never sudden or abrupt. Uh, there's no need for forceful or abrupt inputs into the side stick ever. Don't so shall only cause oscillations and you'll just need to correct and correct. So you just have to please by yourself gentle calculated inputs into the side stick and give the aircraft appropriate time to respond. And uh, soon enough uh, we'll be having visibility, so I'm just finding uh, that uh, visibility has been established on apron 30 right, and we're just about to localize with our runway uh, 30 right, trying to get it perfectly localized, and we are still not at 500 feet yet, we are, however, we are stabilized, landing gear is down and locked, our automatic brakes are set to medium settings, spoilers are up, flaps are full, landing lights are on, seatbelt signs are on, rapid landing configuration, and we ATC approval, pre landing checklist is completed. Uh, going to continue to localize, make sure to follow the center line, and the gear here is for the, the landing is to glide the airplane as, as gently on the runway to make it glide as smooth as possible. And the key is also to try to your best possible to land on the first third of the runway. We are hopefully going to be returning the thrust once we are below 50 feet and we're going to be applying a little flare before so. He does it. I'm going to fully localize the player and restart the throttle soon enough. There, just a little bit.